It's no secret that after a 50 million year long power struggle, mammals have definitively taken over the top spot of megafauna in the animal kingdom. Sure, we might be occasionally outcompeted, but the biggest, smartest, fastest, and most successful of all animals are all mammals, and we've even surpassed the dinosaurs. To what do we owe our success? Well, that's obvious. It's the fact that we all have exactly seven neck bones. In animals, there are basically two schools of thought in terms of reproduction, an R-selected species and a K-selected species. The R-selected throw a couple bajillion species at the wall and see what sticks, while the K-selected pick one and stick with it. I've personally been a big fan of quantity over quality, but us mammals have gone with K-selected, and we might be the best at it. For one thing, live birth is pretty unique to us. Sure, some sharks and snakes can give birth to a baby that's not in an egg, but the baby is in an egg in the womb, and it hatches and then emerges. There's no communication between the mother and baby just the eggs being inside the mother. Mammals, on the other hand, have a placenta that allows the mother to respond to the baby's needs on the fly and provide nutrients and oxygen. When the baby is born, it's constantly doted over, never leaving the parent's side until adulthood, and in societal animals like wolves and humans, families might stay together for their entire lives. But we're getting ahead of ourselves. When the baby is first born, it's not good. That's one of the disadvantages of K-selected youth. They don't have to try as hard, while the R-selected youth basically enter a war zone, and only the strongest and most fit survive to pass on their genes. The mammalian solution to this conundrum was an evolutionary innovation known by a vast variety of names. It's breasts. Breasts are made up of three different parts, the skin, the fat, and the gland. The skin is pretty simple, it's just like any other skin except for the areola, this region around the nipple. This contains the Montgomery glands, which secrete oil to protect the delicate region. Now, fat is not the clearest term because in biology, fat refers to a wide variety of lipid-based chemicals, but this particularly is adipose tissue, a part of you that stores up energy in the form of fats. Finally, the gland, and because I've said finally, I'll talk about it first. This gland is made up of lobes, and these lobes are made up of lobules. The lobules produce the milk by mixing proteins, fats, and carbohydrates into water. Any random cell can make proteins, and the fat is already there, stored in the adipose, but the production of lactose, the milk sugar, is specific to the mammaries. Other than that, the process is pretty simple. It doesn't even need muscles. The milk is pulled out by the baby sucking, a process which the mammalian mouth is designed to facilitate. But let me ask you this. How can both males and females have nipples, but only females can breastfeed? Checkmate, atheists. Well, that first part is pretty easy to answer. Just look at genetics logically. The female is the default sex, and male is a change caused by the Y chromosome. The Y chromosome can add in new features unique to males, but it makes no biological sense for it to go through the trouble of erasing something that already exists. As for why us males can't breastfeed, the answer is twofold. The short answer is that I only had one X chromosome as a young adult, so I didn't get enough estrogen. But males can still breastfeed. But that's the other thing. Females aren't just constantly dripping milk. If they do, it's a serious problem. The process of kick-starting the mammaries is called lactation, and it's triggered by the maelstrom of hormones that is pregnancy abruptly subsiding. From there, it has to be constantly reminded that the baby still needs milk, otherwise it dries up. That's why cows need to be milked every day. Men can breastfeed, but it would take too much stimulation to get the milk flowing, and the milk would be too low in nutritious fats. But imagine if 